Vitamin and mineral supplementation are usually not needed for the average, healthy, full-term breastfed baby during the first year of life. One of the major exceptions to that is vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for babies in order to maintain healthy bone growth and development. Recent research also tells us that vitamin D is key in the maintenance of our immune systems to help prevent and fight infection and reduce inflammation. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all babies receive vitamin D supplementation of 400 IU per day due to decreased sunlight exposure and an increase in rickets, which is a, a disease that impacts leg growth and development. Practically all of us are at risk for vitamin D deficiency, with ironically formula fed babies out of that major category because infant formula already contains 400 IU of vitamin D per quart of properly prepared formula. If you are exclusively breastfeeding, your pediatrician should have educated you to supplement your baby with vitamin D, typically given as drops every day, but they may not have told you about other ways to supplement. There are two ways to supplement, to supplement the baby or to supplement you. So let's talk about that. The primary source of vitamin D for babies, other than the sunlight, is the stores that were laid down in their body prior to birth because our vitamin D status during pregnancy directly affects baby's vitamin D stores at birth and through the first two to three months of life. Because of this, make sure that when you're pregnant, you are getting adequate amounts of vitamin D. Human breast milk is considered a very poor source of vitamin D, usually containing less than 50 IU per quart. This is why the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends all breastfed babies receive 400 IU of vitamin D, vitamin D per day by drops. This is not a defect in breast milk, but usually reflective of the deficiencies of vitamin D in our maternal bodies. So what can you do about that? The best way to get vitamin D and the way that our bodies were designed to get the majority of our vitamin D is from the sun. Depending upon where you live and how dark your skin is, going outside regularly may be all that is needed for you and your baby to generate adequate amounts of vitamin D with no further supplementation needed. However, most healthcare professionals won't tell you to get vitamin D from the sun because of the risks of sunburn and skin cancer. One of the other problems with getting your vitamin D from sun exposure is simply that it's too hard to determine how much time outside is needed because there are so many factors at play. Your unique skin tone, the latitude on the earth where you live, the time of year, how much sun is, skin is exposed, the amount of air pollution if you are in an area with tall buildings, all of these factors play a role in how much skin needs exposed and how long you need to be exposed in order to get adequate vitamin D from the sun. There is a wide range of how much skin exposure to how long you need to be outside in the sun your body needs to make adequate levels for your unique self. I cannot tell you through this video how much skin exposure or length of time you need to be in the sun because of all of these factors. You would need to research that on an individual level and know if you yourself are vitamin D deficient already. So how else can you get vitamin D? Research shows that maternal vitamin D supplementation of 4,000 to 6,400 IU either daily or in a massive dose monthly of 150,000 IU can adequately supply your breast milk where no additional supplementation would be needed to your baby. As long as you are not vitamin D deficient, your breast milk will also have adequate amounts of vitamin D levels if you are being supplemented daily. For more information on the research behind this, see the information by Hollis in 2015 and Hollis and Wagner in 2004. In summary, yes, someone needs supplemented for vitamin D. In reality, both you and your baby need to be supplemented to make sure you have adequate levels. It is again very important for bone growth and development and for immunity. We are also finding that vitamin D deficiency can impact milk supply. So by making sure everybody is supplemented, we are keeping our bodies healthy and happy. 
If you are concerned about vitamin D deficiency, both you and the baby need to be supplemented. You can supplement the baby by drops. Most people will put a drop on their nipple and latch the baby. They may put that drop in a bottle of expressed breast milk and give that to the baby, or they might put that drop on a pacifier and have the baby suck it off that way. Lots of different ways to supplement to the baby. Um, you can also make sure that you're getting adequate levels per day. Again, the general guideline recommendation is 4,000 to 6,400 IU of vitamin D a day. You can, if you're concerned, have blood levels drawn to make sure that you're not vitamin D deficient and work with a healthcare provider to find the adequate dosing to make sure that your body is getting what it needs. Now you know.